Okay, 1034 South Warman. Another uh, small footprint ranch we have here. We've got uh, original hardwood floors here. We've got a overlay in the kitchen. Um, depending on what kind of condition those are in though, these hardwood floors are not too bad. There's a couple of spots that are have patches in them, but they're in actually pretty decent condition, which could save you money on some flooring. Uh, otherwise, looking at painting, cosmetic stuff, etc. around. The windows are newer. They're not the original windows, uh, but there's probably a little bit of trim work and everything. Same look around the door here. Um, definitely we're looking at probably updating the kitchen. We've got some damaged cabinets, etc. Uh, we do have a little bit of a settlement right here as well. And behind that wall there is the um, is the uh, furnace. So we definitely want to take a look um, at that a little bit in greater detail. The uh, doors are not exactly hinged on here, so I'll do the best I can to show it to you. But actually the furnace itself looks to be in pretty, pretty good condition as far as maintenance is concerned. It's not um, overly dirty or anything like that, so that's nice to see. We'll also take a look. Let's see if we can sit on this one. Here's the water heater. So again, these doors are just kind of leaning here. That's why it's harder to take a look at it. But again, main, maintained well. They're not that old. Um, so lots of encouragement there. The only really concern I have was uh, that little bit of the settlement there in the kitchen. Um, bathroom here, pretty small three piece, but it's in decent condition. Again, we have some, some either releasing or settlement, just could just be standard age. Not something that's a real concern. Our bath enclosure here. Again, a couple things to take note of, but no major red flags. Um, as I'm walking back and forth, I do feel certainly the settlement in here, right? Um, it is a crawl, so fixing anything like that shouldn't be too, of an, too big of an issue if there's something that's an overall um, concern. So it's, I wouldn't say it's a big red flag, but that's a, definitely a little bit of something I want to be aware of. Probably want to have a contractor or an inspector or something come take a look at it. Although an inspector actually is just going to say the same thing I'm telling you as far as feeling stuff out because he's not going to get... Um, probably under there and do too much inspection on it. Might. But the bedrooms are good sized for our house with this square footage. Taking a third bedroom here and created a laundry room out of it, as you can see. So that's kind of interesting, um, the way that that's set up. So it makes it a little bit mustier in here because of the humidity from the uh, washer and dryer, washer specifically. go out three here through the backyard. So this is something that I really like a lot about this house is the backyard setup. It's got a garage also that's really nice. Really nice deck here. That's a three car garage uh, back there. Fully fenced in yard. So not only is there garage access from the rear, but there's also um, a little bit of space behind it uh, to, to park as well. So really large garage here, as you can see. It's not just a three car garage. It's also um, really, really deep. So lots of room in here. And I say three car, from the outside it looked like three. This really looks more like two. Just really large bay doors here. But it's a, either way, it's huge garage. Huge garage, which is gonna, especially in this area, is gonna be a big deal, I think, for a tenant um, having a shop. Blue collar area here, so people really like to work on, uh, work on stuff, have little shops and everything like that. Something that could be of great value and somebody would pay a lot more rent-wise. Exterior, really no red flags. Uh, roof looks good. Got a little the the stack there is pretty old. Got some rust on it and everything, but it doesn't appear to have been affecting the the um, the roof in any way. All right, so let us know what you think. Thanks.